Hey there guys, Randy from Helping Ham Channel. We're here to review the Harry Potter box set collector's thing with yeah. all of them inside there. So let's get started. This is a collectible box. That's yeah, a collectible so you box can't really get movie. stuff like this inside of there, of course. So obviously we're not going to review that. But if you do get that box set, that's actually one of the best things about that box set is these bonus DVDs. So, um... Anyway, um, next is the Sorcerer's Stone, and my friend Brian will take it away here. The Sorcerer's Stone. Two day special edition crap. How Harry came to Hogwarts. Pretty much how it goes. You know, it comes to Hogwarts and does all this crap, this witchcraft stuff. <laughs> See, the how he gets there is because Hagrid's. Fat ass broke down, <laughs> broke down the door, <laughs> and uh, he was like, "Hi, Harry, it's your birthday today. I'm gonna sat on your cake." Yeah, really, this is like one of the best ones. So if uh, you want any any other Harry Potters, I would really suggest yeah. getting one of the one of the, uh, these like first couple because these are the best ones. Yeah, the Chamber of Secrets was the best one, but the, it was still a Who pretty cares, good movie. Who cares, dude? Jeez, still a pretty good movie though. Put that one out. Next is the uh, Chamber of Secrets. Okay, Harry's second year there, you know, meets up with his old crew members. <laughs> and, uh, well, pretty much, uh, he, he's, he can speak snake and crap. Because Voldem Voldemort, whenever he tried to zap his ass in his crib, gave him his car and transformed some of his powers to him. So then in the bathroom, they in the girls' bathroom that was haunted by this one ghostly bitch chick, uh, they find out that it's actually underneath the girls' bathroom. So lucky girls. Then, you know, Harry stabs the Slytherin beast with a poisonous, t you know, with the Sword of Gryffindor. And, uh, then he stabs Tom Riddle's diary, and he starts tripping balls, and then Tom Riddle dies. Yeah, so this is uh, one of the best ones, too. And Dobby went free and shit. Yeah, make sure to get this and the first one for sure. These are the best ones. Well, in our opinions, of course. The next one is The Prisoner of Azkaban. We're not going to spend too much time on this one. Cause Basically, I'm... it's about Sirius Black, his gay uncle that comes, and he has to save him. And his, his uncle's in the form of a rat, so, I mean... Obviously, it's not really the best one. To me, I actually think it's one of the worst. So, uh, I would give this a, if you like crap, if, uh, you're one of those people that like to watch movies just to see how cheesy and crappy it is, then this is definitely one that you forget. Like I do. I like to watch them to see how crappy they are. Uh, this one, though, I wouldn't suggest anybody getting it at all, not even to laugh at, because it's still, you can't even make fun of it. It's so boring that it makes me want to cry. I mean... It's about these freaking games, and through the whole time, all you see is just a whole bunch of drama. This is where it started turning into a bunch of love and drama and crap, is inside this one right here. I really don't remember this that much from it, because I I do, I like, think it's gay, dude. I watched like a couple nights ago, and it's freaking gay. Like, I, I barely watch it, like hardly ever. Yeah, I don't, watch Har I don't watch Harry Potter that much. I used to never I was a kid, but not anymore. Anyway, get that game out of so here. So the Goblet of Fire, year four. The next one is the Order of the Phoenix. Um... I think this one is a is a pretty. It's actually with the better of the newer ones. This one is. It was pretty cool. I like how they introduced what are those the Dementors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those things are pretty cool. Oh, I like how they are. So yeah, I would I would suggest look, look looking into this one also. This one this one was a pretty good one to get. Okay, now we're gonna start getting into the 2010 2009 generations. Which is the newer stuff, and these are not part of the box set. I just bought them randomly at Walmart for into the Pydar movies, and this one sucks balls. Just so you know, it's not worth it at all. Don't ever spend even two bucks on it. I thought it was kind of good, but still I, don't, I don't like it, dude. Oh, well. it, oh, what uh, does Dumbledore get his ass thrown down that shaft? Oh yeah, don't don't Dumbledore gets thrown off a of Hogwarts. That was one of the best parts. It truly was. Next is the gayest one of them all, besides the Goblet of Fire. Deathly Hallows Part 1. Open that up for me. I ain't gonna comment on the Deathly Hallows. I think you should just do this. Yeah, I think the Deathly Hallows sucks balls. Uh, they put way too much time and money into the special effects about waving a wand into the actual story, which is followed by the books. So, 
Um, but shorts comes to all, I wouldn't suggest getting this one either at all. This th this one isn't a good one at all. I bet the yeah. only part you liked about it was never Harry and Hermione were naked and making uh, out. Not Harry naked. I liked Hermione. I did like Hermione. I think yeah. he's pretty hot. Yeah, she, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Next is the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Okay, look. At the end, he breaks the wand in half. Yeah, if, I, if, I, if, gonna... if it's so strong of a wand and so great of a wand, how can a little... How, how can a... 16 year old boy snap it in half and throw it down a mountain. I mean, it's dead, it's gone, is it? It's gone. So, who who else is gonna steal the, the dildo bandit? Who else is gonna steal it, really? You got the invisible cloak and you had the stone of resurrection, yet you were a pussy and you dropped it. <laughs> yeah, I honestly don't think that this one was. This is, if like, you're looking for a newer one to get, this one would be one of the ones to get. Like out of the last three of the sixth and then the part one and two, this is the def this is definitely one that you would want to look into. It's the best according to me, but that's just my opinion. Like I said, so uh, I hope you guys like and hope you guys take our advice and like and uh, we'll be posting some more videos about some books or or some bands or some more movies coming up soon. So thanks guys, please rate, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe.